When it comes to the most hyped prospects of the 2010s decade, the two guys at the top of that list are Anthony Davis and Zion Williamson. And looking at Zion, coming to the 2019 draft class out of Duke, this guy was being called the next LeBron James and the chosen one. As at draft night, he wore all white, just like LeBron James, back in 2003. And looking at NBA draft experts, even myself, I thought Zion in five years' time would be one of the best players in the league, if not, I would say, top five. But now in 2024, you just take one blink, and we're five years in to the Zion Williamson experience. And so far, he's not even close to a bust, but he's more of a meh, kind of a eh, afterthought, you know, kick to the curb, not really talked about. And the thing about Zion, when he's on the court, he's a walking 20 points on nearly 60% shooting. But his big time problem, so far in his career, hasn't even cracked 200 games after five total seasons. And when thinking about Zion, his time at Duke, his time in high school, lots of iconic games and moments. But when it comes to the NBA, is there one game, one moment, heck, even just one play where you sit back and say, this guy has officially arrived. To this point, I can't think of one. The closest I came to saying that, I would say it was in like 2022, early in the season. He had a month stretch around 10 games where he was a walking 38-5 on 61% shooting. I mean, Zion at that point was trending upwards, playing point forward, and leading the Pelicans to a top three seed. But here's the problem. After that great play being a walking 30 ball, foot injury, out 40 games, missed the rest of the season. The most shocking part of Zion's career at this point is that five years in, he's played a total of zero playoff games, and his Pelicans team never finished higher than the seventh seed. I mean, for comparison, look at Ant Edwards, who a year after Zion was the first overall pick, and so far in his career already, made the playoffs three separate times. And this year, of course, led Minnesota to a top three seed at 22 years old. A lot of the hype Zion got as the next chosen one, the next great American-born player. That hype's been transferred over to Anthony Edwards. As Ant, unlike Zion Williamson, is healthy, actually makes the playoffs, and has improved every single season. And before you make excuses for Zion, well, Ant's team is stacked. He has Cat Gobert. He has a great supporting cast. I really don't want to hear that. Zion's career so far has been the reason his team has underperformed in the regular season. As guys like Ingram and CJ, their career has been put on pause because of Zion and him being injured. I mean, look at this Pelicans team, their talent, and their depth. Of course, Ingram, CJ, 20 points per game on average. Trey Murphy, one of the best bench players in the league, one other teams will be a surefire starter. Herb Jones, an all-defensive type player, and then Valanciunas, a walking double-double. And even looking past those rosters, had Lonzo Ball and a Josh Hart at the same time as Ingram. The Pelicans' lack of success can't be blamed on a lack of talent, but what you can't blame it on is Zion Williamson not being healthy and available for his team. And if you want to talk iconic moments, big Zion games, the biggest games had at this point in his career, first off, with the in-season tournament game versus the Lakers. Now, how did that go? A primetime game, TNT, the whole league watching. Zion in this game, 13 points, 3 turnovers, 1 of 6 from the line, and lost by 44 points. In comparison to LeBron James, who was 39. LeBron, 30 points on nearly 80% shooting. And again, the Pelicans embarrassed on national television. And most recently, once again, versus the Lakers, a game in New Orleans, playoff implications. Zion yet again laid a dud. 12 points, 4 turnovers, 4-13 shooting, and the Pelicans lost by 16. Zion yet again, outplayed by LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and even CJ and Ingram. In Zion's two biggest games of the season, and possibly his career, Back-to-back -back duds, scoring 12 points and 13 in blowout losses versus the Lakers. And looking at both these games pretty closely, when Zion plays even a mid-tier defensive team that is someone like Anthony Davis, who's a great defender, great rim protector, he struggles pretty mightily. 
and watching LeBron James defend Zion, I got secondhand embarrassment. LeBron pushing 40 gave Zion 15, 20 feet of space to do whatever he wanted. I mean, if you squint your eyes really, really close, it looked like Ben Simmons versus LeBron. And if you want to talk the Pelicans Achilles heel while they'll fail in the playoffs if they make the playoffs, it's Zion Williamson and his lack of a jump shot. As looking at this year, he's made a total of six three-pointers. And looking at his overall shooting splits from different ranges, outside of 10 feet, this guy is just flat out inept. On the season, 20-54 on shots past 10 feet. I mean, that's terrible volume and awful percentage. And even looking at 5 to 9 feet, which is even further in, Zion those shots only 34%. Where he does his damage is in the paint at the rim, dunks, lobs, and put back jams. And look, Zion playing that way, still effective player and a great player. As in the shots, shoots nearly 65%. But when you're dubbed the next chosen one, the next great player to carry the league, not having a jump shot in year five, I mean, pretty embarrassing and downright disappointing. And again, I got a harp on it. LeBron James versus the Pelicans in New Orleans treated Zion like a prime Ben Simmons, daring this guy to shoot from even seven feet out. And like I said earlier in the video, Zion back in 2022, before his injury, I mean, he was a walking 38-5 playing great basketball. But comparing that Zion we had back then to Zion now, overall numbers play across the board, they're all just really, really down. Scoring, shooting percentage, free throw rate, and his rebounding had just fallen off a cliff. I mean, how does Zion Williamson, who's a physical specimen, only average five boards per game? I guess the one positive for Zion is that finally in 2024, he cracked playing 70 games. But again, if we're in year five and Zion playing 70 games is the highlight of his season, that's pretty pathetic. And one last thing I do want to touch on is the countless number of superstars who have surpassed and even lapped Zion Williamson as a player. I mean, Zion back in 2021-2022, he was in the Jason Tatum type tier and a tier below someone like Luka. Nowadays, doesn't even sniff the top 10 as an individual player. And people like Ant Edwards, Wimbenyama, as the next face of the NBA, far surpassed Zion in all those metrics. If you told someone entering the 2019 draft class that Zion Williamson by year five still wouldn't have a jump shot, wouldn't have cracked 190 games in his career, would have zero playoff series wins and zero games played, they would have called you crazy. I mean, I can't overstate it. Zion in 2019, he was dubbed as the next chosen one to carry the torch from LeBron's era to the next era. And I guess the silver lining for Zion, he's not even 25 yet, still has a lot of time. But seeing his health overall play, production decrease. I mean, betting on Zion in the future, not the smartest bet if you ask me. So that right there is the end of the video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.